Hey there, Mikhail's here with Toasty DIY. And this is just a quick video. I apologize for wearing formalish clothes. I have a video I'm going to try to film today. Uh, but this one, I wanted to come before it because I, I realized something that I thought would be interesting to talk about. And that is quantity versus quality when it comes to making videos. And just, I want to share some words to somebody who edits and somebody that's now been doing YouTube for a little bit, but not as the main video maker, but as somebody who's just watched two people become well off YouTubers enough to, to pay me and uh, pay my friend and and keep everyone you know here employed and having a good time. So I wanted to just talk about something, which is there's that idea of quantity versus quality. And I've seen people with different opinions on you know whether they think, oh, I can't submit this till it's the perfect version, versus uh, I'm just putting out as many as I can. There's always that argument, and I, I've been threading a line as I've worked here because every Monday I have to create a DIY video, and this one's going to go live on Friday. A special thing that's happened between my time of making videos, I think at this point for the main channel, it's been three years, and we can say three videos a week, 52 weeks, around, you know, 150 videos a year that I'm making or editing for them, they're making them. So in that time, will I say that out of 152 videos that they're all like, you know, bangers and that's absolutely not uh, there are some that are just not as good as i wanted them to be because of either upload constraints time constraints sponsor constraints things that i can't necessarily control and as somebody who's working i have a deadline and i just wanted to let you all know for if you are thinking of starting a youtube channel or something along those lines that there's an amount of quantity, and I think you'll hear this when you look at anyone who suggests on how to become a Twitch streamer, how to become a this, how to become a that, that they say, just start. Don't do all the research. Don't make your quality, try to get to your quality up here before you've even attempted down here. And then it's, you're going to have to be bad for a long time before you're good once or twice. And then hopefully you can become a better. And recently, I believe Tyler over in PC Bros has been making videos. Uh, check him out at FTV the Greek. And if you just watch his first video to his most recent video, the level of his cinematography skills has just exploded. And it's not due to any one person. It's due to him taking the time and having the passion for it. But in the, the mindset of you have to just start putting out stuff. When he put out his first video, he said, man, I could have kept noodling with it forever, but I realized I just have to put one out there. And that when it comes to quantity versus quality, when you're good, you can decide which one you want to do. But when you're just starting, don't worry about that. those two. Honestly, I'd err on the side of you need to create quantity in order to establish quality. So if you're somebody who's newer that's thinking about getting started, just start. Publish anything. It doesn't have to be good. It just has to be something that you can form an opinion on. Because once you've made one video, you'll start to look at these other videos and go, well, that one was bad. Well, that one was good. But you'll know why. You'll say, because I love the way I delivered that line. I love the way that shot just made everything look great and really brought the whole piece together. I love the way it sounded. So if you're going to start doing something and you're wondering about how's the best place to start, well, aside from starting because you're trying to avoid or delay it, just start. You're going to be bad. And it's going to take time. If you're a prodigy, congratulations. That's awesome. I wish I were you. But really, I just have realized from working here that I'm very lucky to have gotten the chance to be paid to create my quantity so that I can now achieve quality. But if you're somebody who's wanting to start any hobby, that you really think that you have something you can be passionate about out there and that you're just wondering when you've gotten it good enough to start, it's never going to be good enough until you start because you need to know. Whatever you've done now, if you look back at yourself a year ago, you will almost always dislike some decisions you made and you've adjusted based on them. You can't adjust on decisions not made. So get started. Thank you all for joining me for my little TED Talk. Just something I thought would be fun to talk about since I, I've started to see it around here. People like Jonah have gotten the chance to try and fail, and he's become a lot better for it. Tyler's doing a lot better on his stuff, and it's just awesome seeing people. I'm, I'm proud of my own things I've done. Just seeing people improve. Uh, heck, go to Toasty Bros and just go to the most, like, oldest videos and just see what Jackson and Matt made back in the day. It's nothing like what they make now, but they made that, and that's what got them where they are today. So... Don't be worried about it. You can check it out. You don't have to be Mr. Beast in your first try. And I appreciate you all coming and listening. Peace.